Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. This is of course Stormworks Search and Destroy, and today we are actually going to go ahead and continue with our bomber. Now as you guys can see, we actually have our sweep wings sweeped. Uh, somebody actually called it a swing wing, I guess a swing wing actually makes sense as well. Um, sweep wings, I don't think is actually the right term, but anyway, we're calling it a sweep wing. Um, right, so, with that being said, a few of you guys actually said that this bump was a little bit too aggressive. Uh, and I sort of agree with you guys, this is a bit steep, so we'll probably end up, uh, making this less steep, we'll do that. Uh, we're also, I, I think, gonna make this a bit more sweepier. I, I feel like it should actually line up with this, if at all possible, but that also makes this gap really weird. And it will look strange. So I'm not sure about that. But we also need engines. So I think we're going to add engines today. Let's do it. Okie dokie. So a few of you guys actually said that maybe we should actually add like Concorde engine sort of things. I, I don't really know how that would work. Uh, but let's go ahead and get a jet engine. Smack it in here and see what we can make it look like. Because, yeah, reasons. Uh, so let's build a jet engine to begin with. Uh, just on the top of the wing. And then we can move it down under the wing and put all of it in. Hopefully that'll make sense and be quite good. I did want to do a turboprop idea, and I also wanted to do a different idea as well, uh, of like a, an engine that pulled us along, but I figured you guys wouldn't like that, so we're not doing that. But anyway, uh, right, let me try and figure out how to do jet engines again, because I really can't remember. Uh, so let's get ourselves the right color, which is just this. Go ahead and put that right there. So intake, yes. We then need a compressor behind the intake. There we go. Very good. We then need a combustion chamber. Yes, we do. We're actually going to go ahead and put that sideways. In fact, actually, no. We're going to have it go upwards. There we go. Uh, so that the fuel can actually get put in into that again. That makes sense. Uh, we're going to get a turbine so that we can actually recharge our uh, batteries as well. And then we're going to go ahead and put an afterburner one on uh, because I think that'd be pretty cool. Although, actually, nah. We're just going to go with a normal one. Here we go. Jet engine exhaust. Whack that on there. Excellent. So that's what a jet engine looks like. We now need to put it into position, make it look nice, and hopefully this will work. All right, so with that being said then, I don't really know where I want this to go. I do want to merge it with this uh, so that it is somewhat sealed in, if that makes sense. Uh, and we're going to drop it backwards to about, I want to say to about there, to be totally honest with you guys. I think that will totally work. Um, however, at the same time, the engine exhaust being right there seems weird. It does. It seems pretty strange. Because it's not that far forward. So I don't really know what to do here. I just had to like pause the video for a second there. Because there was actually a um, an American Air Force jet flying over my house. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, I don't know whether we should add this here. We're actually going to go ahead and put it really close to our... Yeah, we're going to put it really close. And we're actually going to go ahead and put it right there. Okay, so paste one there. Paste one right next to it. And that means we don't actually have to get rid of anything to actually have these. So we can merge this, so we can merge this. And then we can actually grab both of these, uh, if at all possible. There we go, copy them. Take it over to the other side so that we can just paste it right there. And that is excellent. There we go. So merge this with this, and that is actually pretty sick. So we have our engines somewhat installed. Um, I want the air inlets to actually work out better than this. So on both sides, we're going to try and make this look a little bit better. So delete this forwards. Um, I don't know how I want this to look, to be totally honest with you guys. I'm going to go with something like this, um, to begin with. And we're also going to delete this down the side, uh, pretty much all the way to there. So the way this is going to work then is we're going to put this in, uh, all the way to there. Okay, excellent. We're going to get one of these guys and slot that in right there as well. And that, I guess that works. Okay, excellent. We're then going to go to the side of this and we're going to delete most of this to there. Okay, and most of this to about there as well. Excellent. And that's all going to come down with us. So that's going to come all the way forwards to here. And we need air inlets. We actually need it to look nice. And that's a problem. <laughs> and that is a problem. Okay, delete this actually. Delete all of this going backwards as well. I've decided that we're going to change this up. So we're going to do that. Excellent. Uh, and it actually needs to come down to pretty much the same point right here as well. So we're going to attach this directly under there like that. Delete this one, put that on there. Excellent as well. Put this piece in there as well. Excellente. And maybe even fasten that one on as well. Okay, good. So now we need the air inlets on the front of this to work out. I don't know how I want it to look, to be honest. 
I'm really not sure how I want this to, to work out, to look. I don't know. I don't know. All right, delete that. Hold on one second. We can put this guy in here. Hang on, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay, we need to put this guy in here like this. And we need to do something like that. Good. Put this piece on as well. Oh, lordy. Okay, like that. Good. And I think that's all, all fine, probably. We're going to do this as well. And we're just going to send it across like that. Yeah, that somewhat works. I think that's fine. What's this? I don't even know what that was. We're then going to do this forwards uh, to about that point. That's good. We're going to do the same on this bit. Uh, do -do 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 all the way forwards as well. There we go. Excellent. And then I think we're just going to like fasten it all up. I, I, I guess. I'm just going to seal it up on the bottom. I'm sure that'll be fine. It looks okay, actually. It looks fine. It's a bit dark underneath there, so I don't know whether you guys will actually be able to see this thing properly, but yeah, it, it looks okay to me, kind of. All right, so obviously there's a bit of an issue here uh, because it it's sort of like, yeah, I don't know how to explain this. We're going to go all the way forwards with this. Uh, what the? Hang on. What's this all about? What's this? Oh, because the bomb bay's there. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> That's, that's really weird. Okay, cool. So, I was thinking that maybe we could actually get rid of uh, most of this. There we go, like that. And we could actually put one of these guys right there like that. And that would actually look okay. Yes, because then it allows us to make something cool out of this, which I really want to do. So, we're actually going to go ahead and put one of these on there like that. Okay, and we're going to do this. Okay, very nice indeed. There we go, excellent. We're going to do the opposite on this side. So delete this one, this one, this one. Okay, very nice indeed as well. And then I think we can actually get away with doing something like this. Uh, on this side, do the same thing on the other side as well. There we go. And literally just sealing it together with this. There we go. So that'll be like our jet inlet. And I think that actually works, kind of. I like it. It's very open at the minute, but I like it. It's cool. Wait, hang on. With that being said, can I actually make this look better? Air inlets. I, I don't know how I would want this to look, uh, to be totally honest with you guys, but I'm thinking we can somewhat put, like, these in, uh, which obviously look a bit strange, but it works, probably. And then if we put these behind it as well, so that it looks like it is actually, like, a vent thing going on, and then maybe we actually just seal it off with something like this. There we go. So it is sealed back there, but that's okay to be sealed, because... The jet engines work anyway, so maybe that's fine. Alright, there we go. Fill all that in. And there we go. Jet engine uh, pods sort of installed. That's cool. That is cool. We'd have to delete this if I wanted this to work properly on the back end, but honestly, I think that should work out the way it is. Maybe. Okay, so next thing. Uh, we actually need to find the, uh, the fuel. There we go. Alright, fuel's there, so we need to delete this one and this one as well. Um, so we need generators on this one and this one. We need fuel to go to these two, so we'll delete this one as well and do this. There we go, excellent. And if this is the Bombay, that's gonna suck. <laughs> ah, it is the Bombay! Interesting! So, I don't know where the fuel should actually go on this. Um, realistically, putting the fuel in the wing would be excellent, but the wing isn't thick enough. Which is unfortunate, actually. That is very unfortunate. Alright, whatever. We're going to delete this as we go backwards uh, all the way to there. And we're just going to go ahead and send this backwards with this. And hopefully this will look cool. So we're going to do this all the way backwards to... Hang on. Hang on. To there. Good. And we're going to do this forwards. Bam. There we go. Alright, excellent. Does that look better or worse? I'm not sure about that. I'm not actually sure. I think that looks better. I don't know. But we do need to come up with a plan as to where the fuel is going to be. Uh, because honestly, if the fuel isn't going to go in the wings, and it's not going to go in the aircraft, where does it go? We could install like big fuel tanks somewhere. In fact, this could be a fuel tank. Oh! Oh, interesting. So we could seal this off like that. We could delete these. There we go. Excellent. All of this. And this could actually full-on be a fuel tank. Not even joking. Not even joking. Uh, it could be a fuel tank. Also, if we do something like this, uh, the way that we can do it... Alright, hang on. Hang on, I'm being a, a maths genie right here. So we delete these, we delete this, and we delete these guys. Okay, if we seal this off like this... Alright, using... Using those, good. That's excellent. 
We'll then do this right here. And we'll also do this right here. Okay, good. So realistically, all of this space will now be filled up via fuel, which is good. That's actually a good thing. And uh, yeah, it should be able to work. This gives us extra space. If we used microcontrollers, it gives us more space. But we won't do that. We won't. We won't do that. Everything else is fine. All right, excellent. Even the roof, though, we could actually delete most of this. So if we delete this backwards, and we use uh, these guys instead, hang on, uh, these guys, we can actually just do this, and it'll give us a lot more room for fuel, which is exactly what we want, to be fair. So this is good. Um, delete all that outwards as we go. There we go. Excellent. And I guess we could just do this. Like that. There we go. Good. We probably do this bit like that as well. If at all possible. I don't think it is. It's not. Oh, God. Oh, lordy. Okay, do this. All the way across there. <laughs> okay, good. And then do this. Across there. And then do this across here. I've made a massive mess out of this. But honestly, the fuel tank's a bit bigger than it was. So that's good. All right, excellent. With that being said, um, delete these. I think if that's only two, we can just put a two in. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why we've... Why did we even go with a four? That's weird. All right, good. So, uh, delete this and this. We need to get ourselves a fluid spawner. Like this one. Like so, there we go. And we need a fluid meter as well, like this one. Put it in there like so as well. And honestly, that should be fine. We'll make it jet fuel. And we'll make this one jet fuel as well. And that's all good. And now we need these to go to the actual place. Oh, which sucks. All right, so it needs to go in there somewhat like that. Actually, wait. Where's the easiest place to actually get into this from? Okay, so we're going to say... We're going to go in... Down... Into here... And then in. Okay, so that's in line with that one. And then we're going to go down and in from there. Okay, pipes, let's do this! We got this, guys. So, angle... Uh, we're gonna make it go backwards and then this way. All right, excellent. We're gonna do the same thing right here. So wait Like that and then like that good delete all of this backwards to there delete all of this forwards to there uh, Put this piece on bam uh, put that piece on excellent. We need um, We need pipes we need a straight pipe to go from there to there and There we go excellent, and I don't know what I've done with this piece, but it's wrong <laughs> There. Okay, excellent. Now we need fluid ports uh, that actually work here. That would be excellent as well. And then once we've done that, we should have uh, fuel to our engines. And that's all we need. So there we go. Good. Bam. Okay, excellent. These need generators. Uh, we'll actually just whack a generator on there like this. I know that seems strange, but we'll do it. And that seems all good. Good. So now it should be able to take off somewhat. Should be able to fly. Kind of. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Okie dokie, so there's our little handle right there, excellent. We're gonna go ahead and put pitch on pitch, uh, and we should be good. So WNS goes to the pitch, there we go. And realistically, we should be able to fly without ailerons, but we probably shouldn't, but whatever, that's fine. Um, a and is actually gonna go to these ones for now. There we go, excellent. And this one as well, and this one, good. And then we should be able to fly with up and down on the thingamabobbies. So up and down on this, and this, and this, and this. And we should be good. Okay, so with that being said, uh, it all needs... Nah, it's fine. It's fine for now. I'm not even going to put anything on this, like, um, a, P a, a PID system. I'm not going to do any of that. We're just going to see if this works. So, up and down is going to be sticky. There we go. Let's go. I don't actually have skis or anything, so taking off with this thing is going to be bad, but we'll see what happens. Open the doors. We don't have any landing gear. <laughs> we don't have any landing gear. We don't even have a way to get in, to be honest. So that's weird. But anyway. Um... Oh, it's inverted. Of course it is. Of course it's inverted. Why are only two of our engines actually on? That's weird. You know, I actually forgot we had bombs. I, I actually full-on forgot we had bombs. Look at that mess. Taking off without landing gear while having just loads of bombs inside you is is bad. 
Uh, why did two of those engines not actually work there? I'm confused. So the rear of it is blocked anyway on both of them. The intake should be the same on both of them, which it is. Yeah. The fuel system should be the same on both of them also. Yes and yes. It should be connected via this, which indeed it is. And then does it have fuel going to here? Yes. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, I, I figured that this might be an issue, but there we go. Right, we fixed it. Good, and then put that on there. Good, right, so now all of our engines will work. Uh, and the easiest way to actually get us out of the uh, thing without blowing up is literally just by adding skis. So we're going to use skis for now, uh, for our takeoff method. And hopefully all will go well from there. So a ski right there, and also a ski uh, somewhere back here as well will be fine. Okay, there we go. In fact, delete that one. Skis, go. They're not even that far back, but sure, we'll go with it. Hopefully this will allow us to actually take off now. And we'll also be a little bit faster because we've got more engines. Alright, let's go. I need to invert the thing too. The pitch. I need to invert the pitch. But here we go. Alright, if everybody's ready. Just saying, as a side note, the sweep wings did that themselves. <laughs> I didn't push any button to actually make the sweep wings do that. They literally did it themselves. Did I just slightly open up the bomb? But oh wow, that's scary. That is scary looking. All right, we dropped the bombs. Excellent. Let's go ahead and close that back. Oh, God. I don't even know where I am. Close that back up. Okay, I'm upside down. We don't have any rolls, so this is a bit of an issue, but that's fine. It totally flies, guys. The engines totally work. And that's good. That's good. Right. I can, I can fix this. There we go. All right, excellent. I think this actually flies really nicely. I think the engines actually look pretty sick the way they are. And I'm happy with that. That's cool. That's actually really cool. Nice. Anyway, um, I think for now we'll actually end this here. I need landing gear in the next video. And then I need to sort out the rear because honestly this stabilization system, uh, it doesn't look amazing now that we've done the wings the way we've done the wings. So we'll probably end up changing that a little bit. We'll make it a little bit bigger probably. Uh, but this is sick. This is actually really, really cool. Anyway. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.